Well, Shimmer, today I'm exposing you. Everyone, and I mean everyone and their mother, is going to hate you. You're done. You're canceled. <laughs> five reasons why green sheet conyards suck. Before we get started, I want everyone to know that I love my green sheet conyard shimmer. With a lie detector test determined, that was a lie. <laughs> or at least I tell myself I do. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Green cheek conyards in the bird community are definitely way over romanticized. Whenever I hear someone talking about green cheeks, I always hear that they are the quietest kind of conyard, that they are less messy than most conyards, and I don't even think that one's true, and that they have the least colorful bite for most conyards. Well, you dancing? And although that's true, they are a quiet conyard and they don't bite that hard, there is a lot more to them than that, and they suck. Honestly, I want more though because look at this thing. So starting off, you know how I just said people love to talk about how quiet these guys are compared to other conyards? Well, first off, they're still loud. They're, they're still loud, just compared to other conyards, they're quiet. But no one talks about how annoying these noises are. These are some nails on a chalkboard type screams. This little man right here can make the sound of a fork scraping against the plate. And it is not fun. And they talk often-ish. They don't talk too much, I guess. But when they do start talking, they go on for a while. And this noise will get to you. <laughs> Oftentimes, I actually have to leave my room when Shimmer starts getting really talkative because it just, it gets to me. Now, I will say over time, you'll get over this. About the first two months I had Shimmer, it was really bad and I could not stand it at all. And I was telling myself I never wanted a con year again. But now that I've had him for a while, I can pretty much stand it. As long as he doesn't go on like a 30 minute scream fest, I'm good. And you know what? I wake up to that every morning as soon as sunlight hits this man's cage. It's hard. It's hard owning a green cheek. Sometimes I'll sleep in the living room just to avoid him waking me up. But no, he'll just scream louder. Our next reason green cheeks are so easily hormonally triggered. And what's weird is things that usually hormonally trigger birds don't trigger these guys. Like Shimmer can go under the blanket with me and cuddle with me without trying to nest. That is something that will usually make a bird hormonal because they'll try to nest under the blanket. Shimmer, no, he's fine with that. But, 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 if he finds a big, wide, open space, he will try to nest in an open space. That's not completely true. There are some small spaces he's tried to nest in. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so he has a happy hut that he used to sleep in. What did he say? Before you guys comment, yes, I know, happy hut's bad for birds. Shimmer, however, does need one to sleep in or else he will not sleep. Anyway. He does not get hormonal with his happy hut. He will just go in there and snuggle. But he has tried to nest this toy, this toy, this toy somehow, and even his freaking food bowl. He's just broken. Well, not him. This is like a normal green cheek thing that they're just weirdly hormonally triggered. Another thing, you are not supposed to pet your bird on the back because that hormonally triggers them. Now Shimmer does get hormonally triggered if I pet him on the back. So I don't do that. But he also gets hormonally triggered if I pet him on the face for too long. He'll start trying to regurgitate. So if you get a green cheek, just be prepared to expect them to want you to hold their babies. Number three, these guys are incredibly nippy. Now, you might be thinking that you've seen me bully my bird a ton of times in this video, and that's why he bites me. No, they're just like that. I swear. This is how we play. We're actually gonna get into that in the next one. But yes, green cheeks are incredibly nippy. Biting is how most birds communicate with their owners, but 
Something about green sheeps is just different. They will bite you just because, why not? There will be times where I am petting Shimmer and all of a sudden he just bites me. He like to nibbles at my fingers. You've seen like, look, look, I bet he's gonna bite me. I bet he's gonna do. Why? Why? So like I said, this biting is for communication and playing, so you should not punish your bird for this biting. But if you are someone with a low, a low pain tolerance, this might be a little much. And honestly, it just gets annoying after a long time. Also, something weird, Shimmer does not bite me when he's angry. That is the only time he will not bite me. Um, if he's angry, he'll just run away. But any other time, I get the beak. And on to our fourth and final reason. Wait. Sorry, I didn't graduate kindergarten. That's why I'm a YouTuber. On to our fourth reason, these guys are extremely clingy. Every waking second, they need to be with you. You have free time? No. Do you play sports? No. You have friends? You probably don't if you own a bird, but no. These guys constantly need attention. They constantly want to play. They constantly want to cuddle. And honestly, they just want to sit on your shoulder and do nothing sometimes. They just want to be with you. And these guys play violently, so like I said in my third reason, Shimmer is not nippy because I bully him. This is just how we play. As you can see, he's not biting me hard. They like to play aggressively and they want to play all the time. All of these toys, all of these toys, I know it doesn't look like a lot right now because they've actually gone through quite a bit of their toys recently, but they usually have a lot of toys. And yet, this little guy still be all over me. The recommended amount of time that you spend with your green sheet conyard is three hours a day, but that will not work for them. They will be very unhappy with that, and you are gonna get the nails on a chalkboard screen. Okay, moving on to our fifth and actual final reason. Why do you keep moving down here? You've been doing the whole video and I keep moving you. That kind of hurt. Our fifth and actual final reason, yes, I did the counting. These guys are troublemakers. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. But you kind of always stay in this cage. Now, most birds are troublemakers. They like to get into things they're not supposed to. But with green cheeks, once they know something is not allowed, they will want to do it even more. They want that attention. They don't care if it's negative attention. They still want it. The amount of times this little man has done things far beyond what I thought his power was. Sorry, you don't want your bed to be pooped on? Too bad, now they're gonna wait to take their morning poop on your bed. They show no mercy. I swear, they get a kick out of watching you clean up after them. Shimmer will just watch me clean and start dancing. He likes it, he's evil that way. I've been staring at this ring light for too long, I can see circles. Shimmer gets into a bunch of chaotic things. He likes to go in the buddy's cage and flip their water and food bowl. If I put a water bowl or a food bowl on top of the cage, he will flip it. If I try to potty train him, which he was potty trained for a while, he will purposely ignore where I've taught him to go potty and go to the places I don't want him to go potty. The best way to teach these guys is with positive reinforcement. They don't really respond well or at all to that negative stuff. For example, green cheek conyers are really good at learning tricks because with tricks there's usually treats involved. But they're not so good at following just basic rules because when they break a rule, that attention you give them, they're probably enjoying it. And there's not really a reward for not breaking a rule. Something really helpful to actually teach your green cheek to not do the things you don't want them to do is catch them in the act, get them to stop, and then reward them. And that's how I got Shimmer to stop doing a lot of the things I didn't like him doing. He still likes to flip his water bowl, but that's kind of amusing, so I'm good with it. Okay, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you guys follow my TikTok and Twitter. Most of you guys are probably here for my TikTok. Also, follow my Instagram. I will see you maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. Depends how my depression is. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for missing um, last week's upload. I was really busy and procrastinated a lot and never ended up getting to it. I also wanted to wish you guys a happy turkey sacrifice day, or if you're weird like my friend Elle, a happy chicken sacrifice day.
But yeah, that's it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.